All right, so we are here at Five Below. Cinco Below. <laughs> Everything that's gonna be used for this video, minus the phone, so minus the camera, is going to be... Good, how are you? Uh, is gonna be from Five Below. So, this is very much a Unisanis inspired video. We're just gonna go to the store, grab a bunch of random shit, and make something with it. <laughs> so here we go. Um, first off, I would really, really like something to hold the phone because I was thinking about doing like some cooking videos, um, some stuff where I react to stuff, just like a bunch of different videos where I kind of want to be hands-free and not holding something with one of my hands. Um, so. Literally, the cheaper the better. Just spent a bunch of money <laughs> on Christmas stuff. So, literally, the cheaper the better. Oh, hey. Gamers don't die. It's very... Gamers don't die. So, we know for sure Mark and Ethan didn't die. Hmm. Hmm. Clues everywhere. All right, let's see. I don't see what I'm looking for. I don't see what I'm looking for. Oh. Yeah, now I'm looking for. Oh! She found what I was looking for. There's a smartphone tripod. And then there's this action camera grip that also goes into tripod. Oh, well, let's get this. More for our money. Um, and then... I was gonna get you this. <laughs> I don't know. Do you want it? <laughs> for what? I don't know. I thought it was cute. It is cute, but I just don't know where I would put it. These are so Sam. I tried. Let's see, what else am I looking for? Just for random stuff to make videos with. So, let's see. So... Here we go. <laughs> we are getting uh, quite a bit of stuff. There's some stuff that we saw and we didn't get, um, primarily because uh, in full transparency, kind of want to save a little money and see how this video does uh, before uh, racking up a big bill and doing another one. But. Um, I think this is gonna be a really fun video to actually shoot. Um, so, I mean, that's what it's all about, right? Here we go. Checking out. <laughs> all right, so. We got the car. We got quite a bit of stuff. All of our Christmas shopping and some Five Below stuff. All of our Christmas shopping, like she said. And we also got some Five Below stuff. We got some stuff for videos. Uh, it's probably gonna go in that video. Also, might double down and go in our uh, Christmas video as well, because we did do that all uh, on the same day. Super busy day, uh, but it's definitely gonna be uh, at least two videos, so we'll see. This might actually pop up in both. Sorry. Bye. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi, buddy. All right. Hey, guys. So in today's video, you're gonna see. <laughs> you're gonna see us go to a store called Five Below. Uh, if you're not from Chicago or the United States, you might not know what that is. I'm not sure if this brand is international or not. Um, but it is a store where everything. Is supposed to be five dollars and below. So you will see us go to that store in this video, and you will see us come back with a plethora of stuff. Um, some that will be shown in this video, and then some that will be shown in tomorrow's video. Um, just for time's sake, because the ones that will be shown in tomorrow's video uh, are a little more time heavy uh, and games and stuff like that. Um, so this video is going to be strictly about products that we bought um, and kind of just testing them out and seeing how good of a product you can get for five dollars at five below so check it out all right first things first 
We have to make Michelle appear. All right, cool. Uh, hopefully I can edit that well, <laughs> we'll see. All right, so first thing is first, uh, we're gonna talk about a product that I'm actually not gonna show you, but I kind of already did show you guys. Um, and that product is the tripod that I bought, the action camera grip. So this thing uh, has actually surprised me. It's been working very well, um, walking around with it and having it up right now um, on a solid surface. Um, definitely not like high quality uh, in terms of like build or anything like that, um, but it has done its job. It's a piece of plastic that keeps your phone held up. So, <laughs> hey, all right. We're gonna make some space on here for my dog. Go. Go. All right, so like I was saying, uh, this thing definitely lives up to what it says it's gonna do. Uh, holds my phone, which is an iPhone 11 uh, Pro Max. So definitely will be good enough to hold like smaller phones than that. So good advice. Next one, pick one. Mm. This one? Mm. All right, explain what it is. It's a color changing shower head. I've seen this on TikTok and apparently it works. So we're gonna yeah, switch. Sure. <laughs> we're gonna switch out our shower head. So we're gonna attempt to switch out our shower head and see if this actually works. Uh, apparently it's been on TikTok. I'm not huge on TikTok, so I don't, no, but we are going to test it out. Also getting the box up. It looks like a goofy shower head. Like I did not expect it to be. Apparently it's powerful too. Like I didn't expect it to be that big. Earth Waterfall. and a powerful stream. All right, let's see. All right. We're gonna go test this. After out. some experimenting, it seems like they don't want us to take this off because there's some blue adhesive stuff there uh, that pretty much makes this impossible to budge. Um, so to the next product, we'll be able to do it in the sink. Uh, and no. So unfortunately, I can't give you guys an accurate test of the shower head right now. Um, but what I will do is I will definitely try it out. Um, when we go over to a family member's house, um, which should be pretty soon. Um, so hopefully it can be in part two. Sorry, guys. All right, so this was a little bit of a bust right now, uh, not because of the product itself, but because of our apartment. So we will be keeping this and we will try it out at a family member's house. So that will unfortunately have to be in part two. Sorry about that guys. Um, all right, next product is gonna be this room to room Himalayan salt night, night light. Um, so we're gonna see if this actually lights up some stuff. Um, if it does, I'm definitely thinking of giving it to um, her grandmother because she loves little crystals and stuff like this, so that would be really cool. Um, Granny or not? Granny. All right. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna try this out. We don't need a night light in the kitchen. <laughs> All right, so taking off the plastic. Whoa, this, all right, well, this just fell out. Um, I think the rock just sits on top. Hopefully, I don't think it's glued on hopefully top. that's how. Yeah, hopefully that's how it works. Um, I think you have to be careful with something like this if you have cats. I'm not sure about dogs because apparently it's really toxic. If they like it. Oh. But I could be completely like making that up. But I also really feel like I've heard this. Well, do your research, folks. Um, this is in fact real Himalayan salt, so. Kudos, kudos to them for. You're just flicking it and drinking coffee. Sorry. So kudos to them for actually providing like legit Himalayan salt. 
Um, not like a plastic rock that yeah. looks like Himalayan salt. Okay. So the, it seems like you're right. The, the rock just kind of sits on there. Um, it's pretty. Like that. It is heavy. <laughs> so don't put it, if you're going to get this. Uh, don't put it somewhere flimsy. Don't put oh. it. <laughs> yeah. That's like it's, unexpectedly heavy. It's, it's like pretty a, heavy. So don't put it in a flimsy outlet. It's like two um, pounds. Yeah. So we're going to. This moves. So that's great. Going to be good for different outlets, regardless of which way it is. Um, so we're going to try it out in uh, our bathroom outlet, just because it's, it's easy to make it dark in there. I was talking and I was up. So we're going to try it out in our <laughs> bathroom outlet, just because uh, it is the easiest place in the house to make dark. So come on. All right. So as you can see, I have it plugged in. It is dark. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. That is definitely worth five dollars. It's definitely worth five dollars. So I would definitely recommend that product. It actually looks pretty cool and it lights up the room nicely. Cool. All right. So, for some reason, strangely, a lot of these are night-based or light-based. <laughs> um, so, we're just gonna keep going with that theme. Next product. There you go. So, this is a Zodiac projector light. Um, we got something like this for uh, our sister not too long ago. I remember he explained that she is my sister, his emotional sister, <laughs> not related. Or maybe we are. All right, so here we go. <laughs> Opening this up. It literally looks uh, like a can of peanuts or something, but. <laughs> Can of peanuts come to your head? It look, the top it looks, looks like, like a, a can of coffee, peanuts. like a thing of like. Well, coffee I don't grounds. drink coffee. I eat peanuts. You don't All right. eat peanuts. Yeah, do it. You peanuts. have cashews. Oh, cashews. Whatever. <laughs> so, um, this is already so much better than the one that we got our sister. That one was so hard to put um, together. We had to actually put that one together. This one comes pre-made. Um, but it's also because the one we got her was literally round. Like the shape of, what was it? Like a moon? I don't know. But it requires three AA batteries. I don't know if we have three. We do have three AA batteries. All right, we have three AA batteries. It's kind of cute on the power switch. Alright, so again, darkest room in the apartment. Gonna be the bathroom. Let's turn it on and see how it works. It itself looks very pretty. It projects onto the walls decently. I'd say that this is pretty much a success. Yeah. Just wanted to show you guys Entire bathroom is covered, and it looks pretty nice. All right, so so far, five below is actually killing it. Um, this thing works great. It's looks so pretty. It looks 
It is really pretty. It looks a lot better in person, um, obviously just because I'm not working with the best camera in the world, so it is a little bit uh, hazy. Um, but this thing, I could definitely recommend if you are into like Zodiac constellations and stuff like that. Um, this would definitely make someone happy, I think. So definitely check it out. And it's only five bucks, so definitely a good Christmas gift idea. Next up is gonna be something that, oh, <laughs> I was gonna say uh, it's something that's not light related, but I lied, it is definitely light related. Um, yeah, it is a marble LED water fountain. So kind of going off the same vein as the shower head. It is water and light combined. All right, so first thing you get in the package. Some crack. <laughs> has a little cute background on it. Anything else? That's so weird. It has a little thing for a plug, like no plug, but it didn't come with a plug. Is it supposed to? Well, I mean, I'm guessing it could be either battery operated. Literally says nothing about a plug in the instructions, Let me see. but it has a little plug thing there, which is uh, a little, little bit strange, but. We're just gonna. Yeah. Pop. <laughs> We're just gonna pop the batteries out of here and use it for that. That is so weird. Yeah. But it was $5, so. Oh. What? I don't know. I thought it was like a recent button, but that doesn't make any sense. All right, so first things first, pop in the batteries. Like I said, two double A's. Boom, close, done. And then, so it works. It has a little light that turns on. Next step is to put the water in. You just pour it? It says you just pour it into the bottom. So oh. we're gonna go ahead and pour the water into the bottom. Yeah, All right, so we switched the camera angle a little bit for this. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and pour in. So six to eight ounces of water. Yeah, which this is way more than six to eight ounces, but I'm Can I do spilling. It? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm not great at pouring. I would say that should be enough. There's a switch. Um, it's gonna be on the back. It worked. Um, two of them are not working. I mean, give it a minute. Maybe the flow needs to 
Maybe just need more water. I think that's definitely too much water. This one is disappointing. Um. So yeah, this one's a little disappointing to start out. Uh, just gonna move you guys up here a little bit, just so you guys can see what's going on. So, what we got going on right here is we got two of these working, two not, and then one working. Um, So we're gonna try and dump out a little water and see if that helps, but I'm probably just gonna have to return. It looks one. like this one was a bust. All right, so we took out some water, and it looks like it's working. We're gonna put the pebbles in to see and make sure um, that it's not just like spraying Splashing. everywhere, <laughs> but looks like it works. Tilt it just so I can get a little bit of a view. That's actually really Bring you guys over here so you can see it. Not bad. Again, for five dollars, even if it stops working in like a Bye-bye.